Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Big, beautiful blue Bluetooth speakers, Richardson, because today we're going to be comparing the JBL Charge 5 to the uh, Soundcore Motion X600, as well as comparing the JBL Extreme 3 to the uh, Soundcore Motion X600. Now, you're going to have to excuse me with a lot of these nomenclatures and numbers and stuff, because it's a lot, man. I'm really surprised I actually got through the big, beautiful, see, I already messed it up, big, beautiful, <laughs> blue, blue, <laughs> whatever. Let's get on with the show. Now, in the past, I have tried to compare Soundcore's portable Bluetooth speaker lineup to JBL's portable Bluetooth speaker lineup. Uh, but it's really hard because they don't exactly compare like apples to apples all the time, or actually pretty much never, because, you know, like Soundcore speakers always fit in between two of the JBL speakers in every case I've, I've tried to compare them. And that's why I have two JBL speakers here matched up with this Soundcore Motion X600 because of power, uh, power output and size. As you can see, as far as size go, you would think that it would compare almost directly to the JBL Extreme 3, but in wattage, it actually, or power output, it actually compares pretty much directly with the JBL X, uh, with the JBL Charge 5. So this is the thing, you gotta, like with these wattages I'm about to tell you about, please take them with a grain of salt because neither one of these companies is directly clear about the power outputs in terms of peak power versus RMS, or even if it's gotta be plugged in or not, because I found on the internet that the, uh, the JBL Extreme 3 is rated at 100 watts, but we don't know if that's plugged in or not. I have no idea if this is an 80 watt speaker, like on a battery, and then you plug it in and it's 100 watts. They don't really talk about plugging it in or not, whether you're talking about the Motion X600 or the Charge 5, but the Charge 5 is rated at, oh, let me check my notes. The, J, the JBL Charge 5 is rated at 40 watts, whereas the uh, Motion X600 is rated at 50 watts. So we have 100, 50 and 40, right? So they compare pretty much directly to each other, but in terms of size and as far as drivers or number of drivers is concerned, the Xtreme 3 and the Motion X600 uh, pretty closely compare. So let's just get into some specy kind of stuff, even though I freaking hate specs. It's all about sound and you know what is good for you and like what's gonna work for you. Most of the time in terms of specs, I couldn't care less. But today we're actually gonna talk about it because on the box, the Motion X600 says high res audio. That's something that you do not get with the JBL portable Bluetooth speakers. Even though they sound spectacular, you just don't see it on the box and it's not a rating or badge that you see somewhere. But you do get it with Soundcore's Motion X600. Spatial sound is something that you do get with the Motion X600. And that means you got that fifth driver right there to kind of add more dimension to it. Uh, you know, with their DSP in here and all their other stuff that they got going on in here to project that sound to fill up a room and make it feel more mm, stereo or around you, like surround sound almost. I'll be honest, that's something that I cannot achieve with just one of the JBL Charge 5 or the JBL Extreme 3. Now, let's talk about those drivers. I just said that you have a fifth driver in the uh, the Soundcore Motion X600. After you take all the skin and wrap it off of the JBL Extreme 3, you're only gonna come up with four drivers. We do not count these passive radiators because pretty much every Bluetooth speaker relies on a passive radiator to get that bass out. So we got active drivers, which are four. You got two woofers or dynamic ranges, and then you have two tweeters flanking that. And then in the Charge 5, you only have a two driver system, which is one is gonna be a racetrack woofer or dynamic range uh, driver, and then the other one's gonna be a tweeter. Whereas in the Motion X600, you got two dynamic range uh, drivers in the middle, and then they are flanked by two uh, tweeters on the sides and then you have that fifth dynamic range driver on the top and that is the ticket right there for that spatial audio. Now in terms of ruggedness they are all very close to each other if not pretty much the same because the Motion X600 is rated IPX7 whereas the JBL speakers the Charge 5 and Extreme 3 are rated IP67. In my eyes that's pretty much the same thing. Now when it comes to portability they are all very portable 
One has a handle, one you can just pretty much grab with one hand, which would be the Charge 5, and then the other one comes with a strap, but you can detach it because it is a heavier speaker and you can't just palm it with one hand, and that would be the Extreme 3. So if portability is a big issue for you, yeah, the Charge 5 is looking real good right about now because you can just stash this thing in a bag and palm it with your hand, no problems at all. But if you can grab and go, this handle is always going to be ready on standby for you, whereas this one just has a strap. Sometimes I wish it had a handle or a little scoop in the back, that way I could just kind of pick it up. But that strap is really handy, especially since it has a, a beer, a, a can opener on, on the strap. And that way, you know, you can get your little sip on while you're jamming your tunes. So they're all portable uh, in their own regard. But in regards to portability, there's only one champ here, and that's for battery life. And that's the Charge 5, because you're getting 20 hours of, or up to 20 hours of battery life out of the Charge 5. And that's kind of why they call it the Charge 5, because you can charge your phone off of it and still have a lot of battery left on it. Whereas coming in at second place, we got a bigger battery in the, uh, or I guess it's a bigger battery, but this thing takes up so much juice, it only gives you a 15 hour battery from the Extreme 3. Coming in third would be the, uh, the Soundcore Motion X600 at a 12 hour battery life, which all of these will give you plenty of time to jam out and have a good time with your friends and family while you're jamming those tunes. Now let's talk about aesthetics. I've talked about this in several videos before. Aesthetics matter when it comes to headphones, earbuds, and Bluetooth speakers because it really depends on what your purpose is for it. If you're planning to, well, this is my opinion based off my lifestyle. I love the JBL Charge 5. It is actually one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers of all time. I use it. It's actually dirty. You probably can't even see this in the camera, but it's actually kind of dirty. And that's because it moves with me because I keep it outdoors and I'm always using it for outdoorsy kind of stuff like connecting it to my projector and things of that nature. I got to try this, this Soundcore Motion X600 on my projector outdoors because of, of that spatial audio. I wonder how that's going to sound. Man, JBL, you might be getting replaced with this spatial sound. But back to aesthetics. So the Charge 5 has this look. No matter what color you get, you're going to get that JBL right there, and it just has an athletic, sportsy, outdoorsy, do stuff kind of look. Same thing with the Extreme 3. It actually does look extreme, especially when you get it in like a black or a red type of color. They do have different colorways for this, but this one, the, Ch the Charge 5 has more colors. I think there's like maybe five or six, whereas the JBL Extreme 3 only comes in about three colors. So they kind of go a little boring on the Extreme 3. But you only get three colors with the, um, the Motion X600, and that's gonna be this gray. They also have a really pretty blue, and they have a gorgeous green, which I would love to have. So Soundcore, if you're watching this, won't you send your boy one of the green Motion X600s? Maybe we could do a video where I connect two of them together. Let's see what the fans wanna see. Now back to the aesthetics. Clearly for me, the one that I am gonna have in my home on a shelf, or actually this one really lives in my kitchen, like this is true to life, this one actually lives in my kitchen countertop. Next to my uh, where I keep the bread and the bananas and the fruit. <laughs> That's where I actually put this this speaker so I can rock out and get my jam on while I'm you know scrambling eggs and you know making my food and stuff because I love the look of it. It has a nice modern slash retro look to it. I just really adore the speaker man. It just looks great inside of a home especially like on a shelf or something like that. I cannot say the same for the JBL's uh, portable Bluetooth speaker lineup. They look great, but I, don't, I just don't think they're suitable for home decor. So it really depends on your use case scenario. And that's why I'm glad um, all or both brands have different size speakers, speakers that are gonna be for certain case scenarios like riding your bike, JBL Flip Six, okay? Or if you're carrying something with you, like, you know, on a backpack, JBL Clip, or if you just, you know, need a little speaker, to shove in a bag, you got the Soundcore Mini, the little round one, and you got the, uh, the the JBL Go 3, right? And if you wanna go bigger, that's where you get to the Charge 5 and the Extreme 3, and if you just wanna tear your house down, you get the Motion Boom Plus or the JBL Boom Box 3. Like, they have something that suits everyone. So I'm really glad that you can have a mix up like that if you want to. So as far as aesthetics and sizes and stuff go, that's gonna be totally subjective based on your use case scenario. You might find yourself getting one speaker and then you might think, oh man, I need something for this or it doesn't look right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get another one. So you'll end up like me having two, three, maybe even four Bluetooth speakers that do different jobs each. But now we gotta get to the part of the video that you've all been waiting for. I'm, I'm really proud of you. You sat patiently all the way up to this point. So now I'm gonna tell you what's up. But do they jam though?
Hey man, look, in regards to these little sound samples I'm about to give you, remember, when you get a JBL speaker or a Soundcore speaker, they do come with apps and they always come defaulted with a certain sound signature. That's because that's the way the company thinks it should sound. So JBL always gives you a flat EQ, straight zeros across the board. Soundcore usually comes with the Soundcore signature on, that's their sound profile that they like, and they always come with the bass up on. And in the case of the Motion X600, they also engage the, uh, the spatial audio. So that's how I'm gonna give it to you today. All right, boys and girls, you heard it for yourself. You heard the Motion X600 compared to the JBL Extreme 3, and then you heard the Motion X600 compared to the JBL Charge 5. You have to pick for yourself, man. I can't make these decisions for you. I don't know if one sounds better than the other or you should get one versus the other. All I know is they all sound fantastic, man. It just really depends on your use case scenario and what you wanna hear, man. It's like food. I really love tacos, right? But some people hate tacos. Those people, I don't want to deal with. They're not going to be my friends because I love tacos. Same thing with these speakers, man. <laughs> Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but you can tell by looking at me, I really like tacos. Look, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. All right, so let me get this straight, man. You made it through this whole video from beginning to end without hitting the like button, you didn't hit the subscribe button, and you didn't even bother hitting the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I get some new stuff up in here. I see how it is though. It's always the one closest to you. You keep on doing you, boo-boo. See you when I see you. <laughs>